Hi everyone, I'm Nadine. I'm a respiratory therapist working with the Lanark Renfrew Lung Health Program. I'm live today from uh, Bonecher, uh, isolated at home. Hope everybody else is doing the same and staying safe. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to properly use the Spiriva or Inspialto Respi Mat device uh, and I'll show you how to um, assemble it as well. So I have a fake one here, a placebo. So when it comes brand new from the pharmacy, you will receive uh, it in two pieces most of the time. Sometimes the pharmacies are, are assembling, uh, but most of the time this is how it's going to come. So what you need to do is insert this little canister into the actual inhaler itself into the bottom part. So to get into the bottom part of the inhaler, there's a little button on the side here that needs to be pressed in and then you pull the plastic cap off, okay? Then the little canister is going to be inserted into the bottom. It only goes in one way. So if you try the opposite way, it, it, it won't fit. It also was printed on the actual canister itself, showing you which way to put it in. And so important thing to note is a lot of people, they'll insert it and they'll think, okay, I'm fine, like there's some resistance there, so that must be as far as it goes. And then they put the cap on and they think it's ready to go. That's incorrect. So this canister needs to be pushed in all the way till it's almost um, flush with the bottom. So I often recommend using uh, some hard tabletop in order to push down on it with some force to actually get it in. So I'll show you how that's done. So like that. And so as you can see now, the canister is almost flush, just sticking out a tiny bit. Then the plastic cap goes back on. If you're having a hard time and it's not doesn't seem to be going on nice and easy, try flipping it around. It shouldn't be hard. It should slide on very easily and you should hear that click. That means it's it's good and on. So the manufacturer suggests before uh, when it's brand new and you haven't used it yet to um, do three test sprays in order to make sure it's functioning properly. So in order to do that, you're twisting the bottom, one click, you're flipping the cap open and there's a little um, flap on the side of the cap here that you're gonna wanna use to open. And then you're pressing the button, holding the inhaler away from yourself and releasing the the spray. Now as you notice there was no um, mist that, that came out of that one and that's exactly why they want you to do it. They want to make sure that it's coming out properly. So we're going to do it three times in total. So two more. So twist again. Flip the cap open. Press the button. Hold it away from yourself and that time we've seen the mist coming out properly. And then you're going to do one more, same thing. And I often say, um, say, you know, when twisting, it's almost like a motion like you're wringing out a dish towel. Your hands are moving in opposite directions. So that's loaded and we'll do one more test spray away from yourself. And there we go. So now it's ready to be used uh, by yourself. So same process, twisting that. Um, flipping open the cap. Now, I always say make sure you keep that cap closed until you're ready. Okay, and I'll show you why. So when this cap is open, you'll see that it reveals the button. When it's closed, if you pressed on the button accidentally, um, nothing happens. It's blocking it. So if you're opening the the cap and twisting, sometimes you'll accidentally hit the button and waste a puff in the air. So keep that cap closed until you're ready to, to put it in your mouth and actually use it. So twisting, flipping the cap, and you'll see that there's two holes on either side of the mouthpiece. When you put those in your mouth, those are to be um, visible. You're not supposed to cover them with your mouth, so like this. Okay, and so in order to take it, you're going to take a nice, slow, regular breath but also make sure it's deep. 
So you're going to basically um, empty your lungs out, put your mouth on the mouthpiece, press, and take a nice deep breath in. And then hold your breath for 10 seconds. So with these devices, it's usually two puffs at a time. So two puffs once a day for the Spiriva and the Inspialto. Um, so I'll do that same thing again. Twist, flip the cap. And hold. Okay. The other thing I wanted to show you was the... Um, guide on the side of the actual device so you'll see there's a, a red arrow it moves up along the thing as you're using it so once it gets into the red section you know you're getting close to empty and that's just a guide to tell you to to call the pharmacy and get a refill don't go by that solely because sometimes it will sit at the zero mark and you'll think it's empty but there are a few pops left in it the only way to tell if it's completely empty is this will lock up completely. You will not be able to turn it. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much the device in a nutshell. I'm going to also put a share a link um, with another step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to use in case you're um, still confused. Um, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching.